for turbulence! I have to say, as much as I hate to agree with Barney, this does seem to be a veritable pornocopia. Okay, well, guys, come on, it's a kid's show. You're like an uh, electric company or Sesame Street or... Um... You can't do that on television. Exactly. No, you can't do that on television. <laughs> Robin, this show is so dirty, I don't know whether to hug you or run a shower for you so you can sit there alone crying and clenching your knees. It's just bad camera work, okay? Wayne, our camera guy, he wasn't that great. I don't know. I think he did a pretty good job, considering he was probably only using one hand. <laughs> you know what? I feel bad for you, Americans, that you can look at this wondrous and educational adventure through space and see something I've seen. Can you just please try to look at this with the innocence of a child? Girls, if you want to get through the asteroid belt, you've got to use multiplication. To the joystick! Okay, space teens, let's multiply. Five times six. Thirty! Yes! Seven times four. Twenty-eight! Keep going! Eight times nine. Seventy-two! Don't stop now! Almost there! Twenty-three times three. Jessica, how's your beaver? Good. Great. How's your beaver? Busy as ever. <laughs> Our characters had pet beavers. Sure. The beaver is the official animal of Canada. <laughs> it's their national mascot. Hmm? It's a noble creature. OK, girls, everyone knows a beaver's favorite food is wood. I just hope we brought along enough of it for our three-day galactic space journey. So let's do the math. If Robin's beaver devours six inches of wood every half hour, and Jessica's beaver devours eight inches of wood every 45 minutes, how much wood will I need to keep both of these beavers well-fed all weekend long? <laughs> While you figure it out at home, how about we sing you a song about our beavers? <laughs> Hear the beaver song. It is a sweet song.